This is Nikola Tesla. He's arguably the most important but forgotten genius in history. His inventions and discoveries have withstood the test of time and now influence almost every aspect of our digital lives. But he still doesn't seem to get the credit he deserves. In this video, we'll break down the early life of Tesla, discuss his inventions, and examine his knowledge of energy, frequency, and vibration through the numbers 3, 6, and 9. And finally, we'll give you some advice on how to practically use these numbers in your everyday life. Let's begin. Nikola Tesla was born on July 10, 1856 in modern-day Croatia. During his years in school, Tesla gravitated and excelled in science with the help of his photographic memory. In fact, he always did so well that he was even accused of cheating a few times since he always seemed to do well when the other students struggled to score as high on the assignments and tests. He quickly built a reputation as the go-to genius and in 1884 was even recruited by Thomas Edison to come work for him in New York, which he ended up leaving after a few short months due to various disagreements the two had. Afterwards, he started his own company where he could study alternating currents and other fields he was interested in on his own terms. However, Tesla and Edison's feud was far from over. Edison became anxious of Nikola Tesla's success and the growth of the alternating currents because they competed with Edison's direct currents, which the world later found out were a lot less efficient and more dangerous than Tesla's invention. Edison sabotaged Tesla's AC power by attempting to publicly showcase that it could be used to electrocute animals, and he even created the electric chair with the technology. But Nikola Tesla didn't let these setbacks stifle his ambition. He was determined to show the world that alternating currents were not only safe, but the future of electricity. He famously demonstrated the safety and efficiency of his invention by shooting the electrical currents through his own body to create light. This amazing demonstration was a turning point, leading to alternating currents becoming the new standard and shooting Nikola Tesla into the mainstream spotlight as a genius inventor. Tesla's contributions to engineering design and electricity sparked a new era of technological innovation and allowed electricity to be accessible to all. His designs were so good that they are still used today to power household appliances, smartphones, and even Elon Musk's Tesla electric car. Nikola Tesla spent most of his life obsessed with his work never marrying because he believed that a woman would just distract him from producing great work. Tesla also had a few interesting quirks about him, including falling in love with a pigeon and needing to use exactly 18 napkins every time he had a meal. During the later years of his life, Tesla continued working relentlessly until he died of a blood clot at the age of 86. Here are a few more inventions by Tesla many of which he still doesn't get full credit for. Number one, the radio. As far back as 1893, Tesla predicted that radio waves could be used to transmit information. In 1898, he demonstrated this using a radio-controlled boat. This was such a spectacular feat that many observers didn't believe the boat was being controlled wirelessly. Some stated that he had trained a monkey to maneuver the device inside. Number two, x-rays. During one of his electrical experiments, Nikola Tesla discovered x-ray technology. Early on, he understood how dangerous this powerful technology could be. However, others at the time, including Thomas Edison, didn't take Tesla's precautions seriously about the danger of unmitigated x-ray usage and fired the rays into people's body parts and Edison even into his own eyes. One person had to have their arm amputated and later died of cancer, while Edison eventually grew scared of using x-rays altogether. Number three, hydroelectricity. After being invited to Niagara Falls, Tesla designed the first hydroelectric plant that was powerful enough to give power to a whole city. This proved that water, at a large scale, could be powerful enough to provide electricity. 
and was a groundbreaking discovery at the time. Tesla's ideas helped America grow into an industrial powerhouse in the 20th century. His discoveries of alternating currents, radio waves, x-rays, and hydroelectricity, amongst numerous other patents, could have led him to becoming the first billionaire. However, Nikola Tesla didn't care about simply having a lot of money. He only cared about using his money to fund his inventions and to ultimately make the world a better place. Nikola Tesla died broke and alone, continuing to work and innovate even until his last days on Earth. Now that we know the story of Nikola Tesla, let's dive into his more quote-unquote esoteric beliefs. This will be exciting, so stay tuned until the end where we give you an exercise to implement into your daily routine that utilizes what we're about to discuss. Nikola Tesla always had a fascination and curiosity for how things worked in our universe. While performing his experiments, he stated that the key to many of them were the numbers 3, 6, and 9, and that if people knew about the significance of these numbers, they would also be able to achieve great things. But what did he mean by this? Let's start with the number 3. Tesla stated that the number three was the base number of creation. Throughout the history of civilization, the number three has been an important number for religion and even science. It is said to signify unity and creation, representing the energy from the second day of biblical creation, and even the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The number six is said to be twice as energetic as the number three, with nine being the most powerful. Six represents negative energy, while nine represents singularity and the seed of life, serving as a universal blueprint of sorts. This won't involve any crazy mystical lessons, just the basic math we all learned about when we were young. We'll need this fundamental knowledge to give a purpose and foundation for the exercises later in the video which will show how you can use this information in your everyday life. First, let's analyze circles, one of the most common natural phenomena. The circumference of a circle is 360 degrees. Add these numbers up, three plus six plus zero, and you get nine. Next, squares, another basic shape we all learned about in our early years of school. If you add the four right angles that make up a square, the four 90 degree angles, you get 360. Again, add these numbers together and we get three plus six plus zero equals nine. Let's go three dimensional next. Add the eight 90 degree angles from a three dimensional square or cube and you get eight times 90, which equals 720. Again, 7 plus 2 plus 0 equals 9. Let's go deeper, or should we say outer, to see if this math works with objects outside of our atmosphere, the sun and the moon. The sun has a diameter of 864,000 miles. 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus the three zeros equals 18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. The moon has a diameter of 2,160 miles. Two plus one plus six plus zero equals nine. All of these numbers always somehow came up to equal nine. Maybe it's just a coincidence or the examples we're giving are just us picking and choosing. So let's challenge others to try and find natural occurrences in the universe and nature that don't add up to three, six, or nine and let us know in the comments if you find any. In the meantime, let's go back to Tesla's connection to all of this. Why did he live by the numbers three, six, and nine? Was he just superstitious or was he onto something? It was through the numbers three, six, and nine that Tesla came to the conclusion that the universe was made up of three things, energy, vibration, and frequency, and that three, six, and nine are fundamental in this process. By now, you're probably wondering, what about the other base numbers? One, two, four, five, and eight. Well, these numbers are believed to be the quote-unquote 
ingredients for three, six, and nine to be used as the energy to form everything in the universe. So now that we have this base knowledge about three, six, and nine, how can we use this information in our everyday lives, like Nikola Tesla? The first step is to get a journal or open up the Notes app on your phone. The next step is to write down three things you want to manifest in your life. Whether it's a fitness goal, financial goal, or relationship goal, write down three things you would like to accomplish within the next year. Here are a few examples from the YouTuber Clark Kegley, who inspired this section of this video. Here's how it works. First step, get a journal, okay? Now, you can do this in your phone, in your notes app, you can take out a blank sketchbook. What you're gonna do is choose three affirmations, okay? Three things that you want to manifest into your life. For example, one of them could be, I'm so happy and grateful I now have a loving relationship manifested into my life. I'm so happy and grateful unexpected money flows to me wherever I go. I love my job. I am happy and I wake up with energy and passion every day. The third step is to review these affirmations six times a day for nine seconds each time. A good way to do this would be to carry your journal with you or move your notes app to your home screen on your phone. You could even set a timer for every two hours to look at your three affirmations and visualize how your life will look like if they have happened. How will you look at yourself in the mirror if you had a better body? How will you look at your bank statement seeing the abundance of money you have? How will you talk to your significant other now that they're in your life? Like we stated earlier, Tesla acknowledged that everything in this universe is made up of energy, vibration, and frequency. So, when you're getting on the same frequency as your ideal self, you will start to think differently, and more importantly, behave differently. Remember that just thinking of your manifestations will not be the way to realize them. Being on the same frequency of your manifestations is meant to give you new ways of thinking, which will inspire new ways of action and ultimately, these actions will lead you to where you want to be. It's not magic, but when you start seeing situations unfold in your life, it may start to feel like it. Try this technique for the next 30 days and check back in to update your results. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.